What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Elden Ring. My name is Glorious Mischief. Uh, with last episode, we finished Ronnie's questline, and today we get to go and invade the capital a little bit. We're tired of being underground, so we're going to be above ground at least for a second. We want to progress to defeat some of the bigger bosses in the game. There's a couple other things I want to do in this playthrough. Um, and there's an optional boss that I really, really want to do. But I feel like we've done a lot of, like, optional, let's get this specific ending quest line stuff. And now, it's time for us to just go ahead and start powering through some of the main story stuff. Especially since we are going to be super buffed because we've delayed for so long um, doing all the Ronnie stuff. So now it's like, oof. I feel like if I get murdered a lot, that's just my problem. Foreshadowing? <laughs> Mayhaps foreshadowing? <laughs> but no, I think we should be just fine. Just fine. This is the uh, the capital, by the way. Um, this is one of the coolest parts of the game, in my opinion. Um, I just love levels in games that kind of like adapt based on what you're doing in the game. And this one does. Every, or not every FromSoft game, but a lot of the FromSoft games have this kind of like um, either end game or mid end game area that has uh, like some story arc to it that if you just, if something happens, then like a drastic change happens. But yeah, check it out. Massive dragon, impaled, dead. Super cool. And then there's bubble dudes. Bubble dudes. Oh, bubble dudes. They're hilarious. Can you souls from give me a 368? Oh man, after doing all of Ronnie's stuff, I feel like we, we've we been a little spoiled for uh, our runes. But that's alright. We can deal with a little less runes than we're, than we're used to getting. I love it that they shoot bubbles at you. It's so unintimidating. And they're supposed to be scary. Of, to some degree. But the bubbles and the spins, it's hilarious. Come on, baby. How am I supposed to take them seriously when they spin in? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the big tutor. <laughs> yeah, I think we um I think we might be at a little bit of a higher level than we needed to be for this area. But that's alright. We can just scoot by this guy because he is annoying. Ooh, flames. We've already dealt with a ton of your brothers. Let's see how much he gives us, because the ones all the way down in the bottom. Where are you giving us three thousand? It's about the same as all the way down in the bottom. That's not too shabby. What's up, boys? I'll be down there in a second. Oh, yes. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> you know, this build isn't terrible. It's definitely not the strongest, and it's definitely not uh, the most, you know, optimized or anything like that. But it's fun to just be so mobile. I feel like I never play super mobile. I, I see. I see it. I would like the lever. Can I lever? Or do I just need to go down? All right, cool. Let's go down. I know I can go over there, and I will go over there eventually. Oh. Flames. Flames, you say? All right, cool. We scooting. I don't trust these guys. I feel like I've been taught by Souls games, like, time after time, that if you leave someone there, they're coming back for you, and they're going to be really mean to you later. <laughs> Leave no one behind. <laughs> really, that's what Souls games teach you. If you see someone on the ground, unless they're talkable, don't even mess with them. Where that? Oh, there's the ladder. I was like, where'd that ladder go? Sweet, let's climb up. I don't think there's anything great up at the top of this, but since we're at this spot, I feel like we might as well get a lot of the stuff done that's in here. Um, ooh, hello, friends. A little bit of uh, the the distances over there. No thanks. We're gonna scoot up to the top of the tower. Okay, just random blue. Love it. Seed bed curse. Gross. Don't want the curse. Don't be cursing me, baby. Alright, cool. Let's head out here. Woo! We can go down there. I'm so tempted to just parkour. Parkour! <laughs> parkour, parkour. Smithing stone fives. We need sevens now. Oh yeah, I should show you guys my weapons. I upgraded into the 22 and 19. So 
We're doing pretty good on that front, which is nice. Uh, our weapons are definitely more dangerous than they were before, which is sweet sauce. Ooh, I love being up here. I'm pretty sure there's a tree sentinel that just appears at one of these little intersections. So, prepare yourself for a tree sentinel, because I'm pretty sure he just pops in. Right? We'll see. <laughs> Speak of the devil. His little tree sentinel ears are burning. Hey, don't. Don't do it. Oh, he's going to do his little holy blast. Holy blast. No, thank you. No. Oh, we got us with the, sh with the shabbles. Oh, this is not a good one for me to be healing him. Woo! Woo! Oofa, toofa. You didn't need to give us that much sauce. Baby. And dodge. And bleed. I love the bleed. The bleed is actually paying dividends. Oh, he's going to blow us. Oh, no, thank you. I don't appreciate that. <sighs> oh, come on, bud. All right, let's heal. We're not going to be fools. And here it comes. No thanks. And the leap attack. Man, I missed so many of my leaps. But we got him. Woo! Tree Santa! How many are you going to give us? 10,000 and a Lord's Rune. Very nice. Thank you for the Lord's Rune. The Rune of the Lord. <laughs> it is kind of funny how, like, the remembrances, like, God, a, a god gives us 20. And then a lot of times you get the remembrance from that tree sentinel and you get um the the rune from him and it's like you got 20k from him too <laughs> you know he's like i'll give you as many runes as a god <laughs> seems a little egregious but you know we're not going to complain about that getting extra runes for no reason strong foe oh that's trying to tell me from to go from that way that's funny that there's a tree sentinel there, but we killed him. We dealt with him. Hooray. Ugh. We're just gonna rest. Oh! What's up, baby? We don't even have the option. You're just gonna talk to us, our little pothead My self. Most thanks. Yep. For bringing me to the base of the Erd tree. Well, we ain't there yet, girl. Here, I can govern my own movement. Pretty cool. And thus, the accord is fulfilled. I shall depart. To ascertain the purpose I was given. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent. <laughs> and the power to turn runes into strength. Here. With you. Oh, thank I you. I wish you luck. In realizing your ambition. Girl, we don't need luck. You have fought long. We got the starter swords. <laughs> I have no doubt. You will become Elden Lord. May you take the throne. Thank you. You. All right, cool. We don't need anything here. Uh, that is the way forward, by the way. Up that dragon. Um, and we will do that, I promise. Turn this on for fun. Why not? Summoning pool. Functional. But we're going to explore a little bit, because I love exploring the capital. Um, especially since, I don't know, just kind of a cool spot. And it's like, we've been in the dark for so long. We've been in the dark for two episodes, man. Let us enjoy a little bit of the outside. Hello. <laughs> Hello. More friends in the corner. Yeah, so that's the way forward. So we will go up there. Ooh, and there's good stuff down there, too. There's um a whole area underneath the castle. Or not the castle, the city. Right down in that well down there. So we'll probably end up going there. Ooh, nothing. Ooh, oh, 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 there's a lot of them. They've all been waiting for me to just show up. Ooh, gotta heal. Heal. The Golden Knights are never easy, dude. They're so rude. You coming after me? Heck yeah, bro. Ooh. 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 He's a grump. Oh, there's so many. No thanks. I don't want any of your business. Get your business out of here. Let's just go up here. Might as well. So that is the way forward. So we will go up there. First, we're going to grab some items. I don't really want to deal with, like, 20 of those knights because it's just a nightmare. And they're going to drain all my healing. And they don't really give me anything that I want. Okay, well, if you're... Oh, jeez. you got to be that rude to me? Have some blood. Have some more blood. Yeah. Deal with it, brother. Like I said, 1,300 souls. Meh. Nothing. 
So we can go down there. But for right now, we're just going to get this. Because it's important for us to get our graces while we can. And also, this is like... I don't know. When I first found this place... On my first playthrough... I was like, what? <laughs> You're literally climbing the wing of a dead dragon. And it's so cool that it's just part of the environment. And it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> climb up that thing. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> like, sure, dude. In what other game would that be what you're supposed to do? Ugh, oh, Elden Ring. You're a delight. But yeah, in this area, we're going to fight a couple of big bosses, which will be fun. I love fighting the bosses in the city. Uh, it's just fun to fight things that are like story, you know? Ooh, I'm sneaking around. Don't mind me, Mr. Quinn. I'm just a curious little rhino. <laughs> Don't mind me, Mr. Quinn. I'm just a curious little rhino. Oh, whoops. Bleed. And hit you one more time. Get your stuff out of here. Those guys are annoying, so I'll be annoying to them. <laughs> That's how you deal with annoyances in your life, right? You annoy them instead. <laughs> hey. Don't come after me. Don't do it. And hello, delicious sight of grace. You see that guy right there? Gargoyle. And we're gonna fight him. Time to fight a gargoyle. Ugh. Alright, we're not even close to leveling up. That's fine. We are high enough level where we don't even have to really worry about this stuff, but we're worrying about it because it's fun. You can just skip him if you want to, the gargoyle. But where's the fun in skipping the hard stuff, you know? I say as someone who literally just said, I'm going to skip all the Golden Knights. <laughs> but that's because they were more annoying than hard. Their noises are so ridiculous, dude. Thank you. Thank you for your bubblage. And we'll just take a peek -aroo. Yeah, so... We will be exploring these areas soon because there's some glory to be had. And I'll do a lot of stuff off screen... Basically, a lot of the farming of, uh, you know, resources and stuff like that. I don't really want you guys to have to sit through that because if you're going to do that, you might as well just play the game. Um, there's a lot of resources in a lot of these places. And really, at this point, we need Smithing Stone 7s and 8s, I believe. That's what we're down to. Those are the last two that we need. So, we're just going to power through some uh, buddies so that we can get to the stuff that we need. Nope. Ooh, he smackles. Gotcha. Ooh. Woo. Nope. All right, let's heal. No. Oh, he missed. How did he miss me? <laughs> Ooh, we both missed. Ooh, he didn't miss that time. Oh, he's got the big axe. He's asking me a question. <laughs> don't ask me any questions. <laughs> I don't have any questions to answer. <laughs> No! Oh, oh, he's doing his little... His, his noise is bugged out. I think that the, the game is all bugged out with the attack music. Oh, he just killed one of his friends. That's hilarious. There we go. Now there's some attack music. Oh, he killed all of his friends. Thanks, bud. I really appreciate that. You're helping me out. Kill your other friend. <laughs> How chill is this fight without the attack music? Oh, I rolled. <laughs> I'm not used... To, I've never had this glitch happen before. I'm so glad I'm recording this one. Because it's such a chill fight encounter without the intense music. Alright, cool. We got him. Oh, and then there's Bub McGubbs. Cool. We got his little swordy sword. Ooh, six, though. Six healers. A lot of healers to have to use. Um, once again... You get up here and you're like, all right, well, cool. End of the road, right? Maybe I got to go down. Nope. Although that area is important and you can go through this way. But look at the roots. Roots are important in this game. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Sorry, if I'm out of breath at all. Woo! I just got done with a huge leg workout, and I'm not gonna lie, I might have to have someone carry me upstairs tonight. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but like, I have a really hard time finding time to work out. Like, I work, and then I do this stuff, and I've got three kids at home, and it's like, woo! 
Woo! Finding time to work out is tough. So I do it at night a lot of times. And nighttime workouts are great. Like, I love them. But it's like, man. I get wired afterwards, and then I'm also, like, like tired and wired. <laughs> People double trouble. Alright, cool. We got this boy. He's root, dude. Really? Picking out the souls. And I'm not really having to do anything to him, which is nice. Oh, hey, bud. Thanks for coming over to the main route. I love it when I don't have to go to side route. Okay, cool. We're going up there. And we're going to sneak around. We're going to get a little sneaky. Sneaky? Ooh. Or do we go up? No, no, no. No, no, no. Do we go up there? Is that the direction we go? No. No, that's where we just came from. All right, cool. We need to get to that front area because we need to fight the bows. We need to fight the bows. Who's going to be a familiar face. <laughs> and it's not who you think it is. <laughs> Based on what I've said before of like people you fight a bunch of times. Hey, don't. Like, seriously, how like treacherous is this space? And they're like, yeah, yeah, ten dudes on this route. <laughs> Elden Ring. You're rude and I love you. Hey, bud. Last guy? I like how they're never looking at you. They're like, mm. We look out pensively into the darkness. Yes. Yep. Here's the first boy. And he is a fun one. Ooh. Hey. Ooh, he stomp. Oh, he slice. Oh, he slice and stomp. And... I'm used to just crushing this dude. So, he's probably not good for ghosts, you know? Let's see how much... Ooh, it does do some damage. No thanks. Ooh. No thanks. Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna stab. He's stabbing. Ooh. He missed us. That's hilarious. Nope. Nope. Ooh. Alright, we healing. Oh, he throws that thing. Got you, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. And we got him. See you later, Godfrey, first Elden Lord. Talisman pouch. Sweet. Now we can have four talismans. <laughs> oh, and he gave us a ton of runes. You love to see it. The runage. Hmm, I think that's at like almost two levels. Yeah, it's not quite. Let's get some decks. Then the next one, 71,000. I could burn a remembrance, but I got a lot of faith in myself and I don't feel like I need it. But we do need to go up this route up here to get to the next area, which, let's see, any alive people over here? No. Uh, to get to the route, yeah, right here. So let's go up the route. But is there, there? I'm pretty sure there's a live finger crone in one of these places. Or there's a live dude. Maybe there's not. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. Not here. <laughs> uh, let's go up this route, though. Let's get rootin'. Rootin' tootin'. Whee! Alright, we up? We up, fam. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, hello, mysterious friend. Wish I could get up there right now. That's fine. We can just scoot on through. Ooh, look how cool this vantage point is, by the way. The whole city. Yeah. We didn't do a lot of city exploring, to be fair, in this in this run. We just kind of took, like, mostly optimal route over to this area, which is fine, right? Like, it's nice to progress quickly. Hello. Hello, death boy. Uh, these are the guys, the black blades. Oh, he's dead. That, um, that were in charge of killing the gods. All right, fine. Be that way. You go down there. You go down there, friend. Have some of that. Three K. Bargain. We take that. We take the three K. Um, cool. This area always reminds me of the uh, daybed of that one giant woman <laughs> in uh, Dark Souls 
I guess it's in Dark Souls and then Dark Souls 3 they pay homage. Blessing of the Ood. Ooh. So, we're going up here. And 55k. We're going to be risky boys. Because I feel like we can beat the boy. I'll turn this on just for fun. Uh, this, Those things allow you to summon friends or enemies or whatever you want to, if you want to. Uh, but we're not summoning anybody. We're just jumping in. And we get a cutscene. Graceless, tarnished. Recognize that voice, dude. What is thy business with these thrones? Well, one of them is mine, clearly. Ah. Godric the Golden. Dunham. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. A little bit tricky. Might learn more about Mikola in the DLC, hopefully. General Radan. Got him. Praetor Rikard. Mm hmm. Luna Princess Rani. Got her. Willful traitors. All. I love Thy this though. kind are all of a piece. <laughs> He's like, fool. You thought I had a walking stick? Pillagers, <laughs> emboldened by the flame of ambition. Such a cool sword design, too. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth. Last of all kings. Unfortunately, Morgoth, it is you who's going to be felled by us. Felled by Pothead. First of all Potheads. <laughs> oh, he hammers. Oh, he hammers so fast. Yeah, get tired, but... Oh, we can do some serious damage to Morgo. I see you. I see you, baby. Shaking that sword. Oh, he'd be getting buck wild. He'd be buck wilding with us. No thanks. Oh, he shoots. Oh, we blocked him out of it. That's sweet. No, thanks. Here he goes. He's going bananas. All right, we good? Come at us, Morgoth. Oh, we missed with our with our blood. Oh, now he's got the blood. Gotcha. Oh, oh, no, thanks. Oh, he does a cartwheel. Here he comes. Oh, he got us. How did he get us in the middle of a dodge? All right, that's fine. We heal. Morgoth. Oh, no thanks. Oh, he cartwheels. He cartwheels again. <laughs> nope. Have some blood. Oh, he be slashing. Ooh. All right, bonus Morgoth. Oh, here comes the, here comes the swords. No thanks. Whoa! He is so much faster. Sorry, more about the Omen King. Oh, go take a nap, friend. We got his great rune and his remembrance. Oh. Hello. You can talk to him now. Look at him. He's so widow. Donished. No, but a fool. Call me you the fool. The Erd Tree wards off all who Dane approach. We yeah, are, yeah, yeah. We are all forsaken. Pisha. <laughs> Homie, you None forsaken. may claim the title of Elder and Lord. My <laughs> <laughs> deeds shall be met with <laughs> failure, just as I. Well, it helps that I'm not some, like, decrepit mummy. Uh, sorry, Morgoth. Uh, I can do lots of things that you can't, because I am pot duck duck pot. <laughs> uh, it is going to tell us that. It's like, oh, well, but that's a problem. 
touch wall of thorns. Impenetrable thorns refuse all. None may enter the urge. And you're like, oh man, what am I supposed to do? I can't go through. Also, I got 175,000 souls. Dr. Mazazer be bringing up too much glory over here. But, put the grace down. You rest. And someone is talking it. Hello again. Hello. Allow me a moment to converse with you. Talk to me about it. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree. No? I couldn't. Prevented by the mantle of Bob. That's right. The thorns are impenetrable. Totally. A husk of the Erd Tree's being that spurns all that exists without. I'm totally spurned. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring uh -huh. and become the Elden Lord mm -hmm. is to pass the thorns. Totally with you, girl. My purpose serves to aid in that very act. Perfect. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me. I'm all about to it. To the flame of ruin, far above the clouds, Upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants. Yes. Then I can set the Erd Tree aflame. Totally. And guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Love it. The rolled medallion. So now shall I turn your room? Let my hand. We can go to the roll, or we can go to the lift and use the rolled medallion, and it'll take us places that we weren't able to go before. The principles you would. Little more decks. Thanks, baby. Appreciate the way you live, in girl. Uh, so yeah, we need to go there, uh, and we will. Don't get me wrong, but first. Oh yeah, so the red mat, the red marker, the rolled route. So we can go there, and we can go up here, and, and yeah, hooray, hooray. We will do that. I promise. We will. But first, I want to go somewhere. I want to go to the Volcano Manor. In order to get to the Volcano Manor, I went all the way around here. I went to the 9th uh, Mount Gilmore campsite. I jumped down. I jumped over here. I went across. And I got there. And it's an awesome place that I want to do because there's a boss here that's really cool. Volcano Manor. All right. Let's chit chat with this lovely lady. Our new precaution. We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor with a fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. Mm. So tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? Have you? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us, rise with us? Against the earth. I love how she just has one of the knights there. Yeah, the Bubba. Decision. Now you belong to the, the drawing room lies cool. down the hall. I am Tanith. Alright, Tanith. Thanks, girl, for the key to the drawing room. So now we can come over here and check stuff out. I don't think I can go in oh yeah, I can go in here. Sweet. Mm. Ooh, key action. Pidge. Perfume bottle. All right, cool. Uh, so there's a couple things in Volcano Manor that are really cool. One, you can do a lot of like bonus quests here, which is fun. Um, and it's a lot of like the introduction to not necessarily PVP, but like PVE in a PVP style, which sure, fun times, glorious. Um, but that's not really the, the big draw here. The big draw here is that there is a very important boy here. A very important boy. Probably the best voice acting in the game is in uh, Volcano Manor, in my opinion. Um, and we've got to go chit chat with the guy. And remember, I don't know if you guys remember, but a long time ago, I met with this girl and she was talking to me about Again. some stuff. It is a shame that I did not beckon you here with my own, but I am pleased that we meet again. Me too. Under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the... Well, delightful. Brave tarnder, lady. I will do that. Look at this boy. You. The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace. <laughs> I hope you understand the weight of my... Oh, I do. Well, as long as you... I thought you were tarnished. Perhaps playing that part led you to... But know that the path you walk is... Before you consider hunting any <laughs> of your own cut. I'll think about it. Letter from Volcano Manor. And the... Fusant finger. 
There's also a hilarious wall in here that if you hit it like a ridiculous amount of times that it will fall, which is cool. Um, but it's, it's just like one of those things where you're like, man, there's there's parts of this game where you look at it and you're like, who on earth is figuring this out? And good for them. But man, you got to have some time on your hands, baby. You got to have some serious time on your hands. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to be sitting here. I mean, I understand that like if you're bored and you're playing Elden Ring and you're like, man, I can't wait to hit every wall a hundred times to see which wall is the right wall to break. But that just seems like a whole lot of work for not much gain to me, dude. Not much gain. And look, all these blood stains. What? what is, how is there possible there's so many blood stains? Oh, because it's this dude. Inquisitor Giza. Only he's got a electro sword, basically. Yep, look at that. Have some blood. Giza. Oh, he clocked. And we got him. Sorry, Inquisitor. Sorry. But we get his wheel, which is super cool to just have, by the way. <sighs> so we go there. Whee! And we can chit chat with her, I'm pretty sure. Did you reap that is yeah. the task, the volcano? You okay. will be compensated once the deed is done. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this. This is a war against the earth. We have no place for the meek. Nor the luxury. Alright, so basically, they want us to hunt the tarnished. Which is awesome. Um I'm just going to check something real quick, because in order to start the actual quest of this game, you have to wait until nighttime. So let's see if that did it. Yes. Yes. I want to kill Praetor Rikard. Here to put the demigods to the sword. Yeah. Then please, the one that devoured. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber, worthy tarnished. The great serpent. All right. Praetor so. Rikard's ambit, they were reduced <laughs> to gluttonous depravity. Whatever that thing, someone. To spare him and his um So we got to kill the serpent that killed Pareto Rikard. Which is fun. Brave um and he is a problem. But he's also just a fun problem to have. Um so yeah, I'm excited to do that. I forget exactly how to get in there. So I will roll into some walls. Because there's a little secret area. We gotta talk to the girl, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, we gotta talk to her, figure out exactly what to do with Freta Rikard. And then, many things will be happening. Door ahead? There it is. That's what we're looking for. That is exactly what we're looking for. Alright, cool. We're sneaking through. Uh, it's also very dark in here. Oh, so dark. Hello, snails. Snails. Oh, snails. Oh, they're snails. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of ways to start this quest. I think this is the most streamlined way. Just wait until nighttime and just get going. Be wary of up. Who's... Oh, look at all these boys. There's so many snails. Snail ambush. <laughs> it's a snambush. <laughs> Uh, so this is the wall that if you hit it a bunch of times, it it's, it changes, I'm pretty sure. We're not going to be doing that because we don't have 7,000 years to be spending doing things that don't matter. Wee, Wee. Alright, we've got to figure out the way actually into the dungeon. Because that is where the next part of this quest goes. We go way deep into the Volcano Manor. Hello? Oh, there we go. Perfect. It's so dark down here, man. I don't remember it being this dark. But it's very dark and spooky. Strong foe? 
Ooh, it's him! I love him! He, I used his sword my first playthrough in this game because he's awesome. Oh, come on. Let me heal then. And also, I just felt like his sword was really cool. Oh my lord. He is a strong foe. He is strong. I should be able to kick his butt though with, with like two seconds of focus. Alright, we jumping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's two ways to play these guys. Either really cautiously and get hit a million times, or just get in there and kill them. Really the aggressive way is what works best. Thank you, Bloodborne, for teaching me that. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me talk about Bloodborne, but man, I love that game. It is so good. Ooh. Nice. Alright, so now we're getting into Volcano Manor. Oh, I love Volcano Manor. Oh, I don't love it so much. Look at this place. Look how awesome it is. Yeah. Does it look warm and inviting? <laughs> warm? <laughs> Probably not inviting. Let's rest and get all heals and get down there. Ooh all right, we jumping down through it. Oh, look at He's Extendo. He's Long Long Man. <laughs> oh, Extendo boy. Uh, but yeah, I, I recently, uh, the director of Elden Ring came out and said that he feels like if players feel like they need a guide to play his games, that there's room for improvement. And I was like, wow. That's like surprising to hear from them just because I feel like so many of the FromSoft games, like, pride themselves on just difficulty. Not necessarily for the sake of difficulty, but like, you know, it's difficult for, for reasons. Ooh, don't like these guys. These guys are problems. No thanks. Oh, she's starting the circle. She's turned on the spin cycle. <laughs> Ooh, and there's a dog? No thanks. Ooh, she killed the dog. She done killed. <laughs> What's the dog doing? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, she just kept on going. Whoa! Will it ever stop? Ooh, I'm, I'm just, I'm getting, I'm out. I hate her. I don't like dealing with her. It's not a fun time. There's nothing fun about her. Um, I'm pretty sure we take the rooftops. Pretty sure. Good things don't sit once again. Would have been clutch. Recon spot. All right, so we go down there. I'm pretty sure that's the direction we want to go. Oh, look at you! Hey, girl, what's up? <laughs> All right, let's just jump down here and get back to it. Woo! Wee! No, thank you. Hey, dog. What's up, dog? Hey, 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 the poison. Unnecessary. It was rude. So rude. Ooh, stone sword? Stone sword qua? Or qua stone sword? What in you? What, what am in you? Let's find out. I got stone sword keys coming out the wazoo. I say that and I probably have like... Oh, don't mind me, Mr. Quinn. I'm just a curious little rhino. Is she bugged? I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be attacking. Oh, nope. She just kind of took a second to wake up. That's nice. Sweet. Gotta love it when they kind of forget what they're supposed to be doing. Thank you. And she can't climb stairs. <laughs> no, she cannot. Ooh, Crimson and Medallion. All right, you, you stay down there and have fun. Don't really want to deal with any of the maidens because they are... Just obnoxious, really. Unless you have to beat one. There's not really any reason to go after them. They don't dish out that many souls. They take a ton of your heals. Hey, long boy. Long boy. Volcanic stone from the long boy. Oh, here's my problem. I love to explore, and I'm going to try my best to not explore every part of this, because, man, it is, uh, it is a very explorable area. 
Um, but the boss in this area is, um, if you guys play Dark Souls 3, it is like akin to Yorm the Giant, where you have, um, there's a certain weapon that you have to use in order to do damage to him. Um, it's not hard to find. It is literally in the boss arena, just like with Yorm the Giant. Fun times ahead. Um, but if you're going to fight him with just your regular weapons, you're going to have a real hard time. And uh, that guy in the front warned us of that. If you remember, he said the serpent slaying sword. I left it in the chambers. That's as much of a hint as Elden Ring gives you. <laughs> just to be honest, that's like a gracious hint from Elden Ring. Um, usually from soft games, they don't give you many hints. And if they do give you a hint, it's like, oh, remember that hint that was given to you like 10 hours ago? I hope you remembered verbatim, word for word. <laughs> Which never is going to be the case, right? Uh, so that's why so many people use guides from. Oh, look at you. That is an asset straight out of Bloodborne, by the way. There is an entire area devoted to those guys. Try luring out. Who am I luring? These guys? The one on the ground? You're alive. You're alive. Knew it. Ooh, pretty sure there was a beauty over there to the left. But we're just going to take out all these boys. Yes, there was one to the left. Hello. Thank you, Fred. Luring them out. Seems unnecessary. Although, to be fair, I'm pretty sure most people come here much earlier in their playthrough than me. Um, I'm at like a level 100-something. And seems a little egregious for this play right now. But, I'd rather be in the egregious than the wounded. Oh! <laughs> Long boy! Take some damage. Oh, look at him! He poisons! He poisons! I didn't even know that he could poison me! Hilarious! Ooh, I don't have enough for a level. But I am right here, so might as well rest at the sight of grace. Okay, cool. I need like 70k for a level now, which is rude. Rude. <laughs> I swear this game. Yeah, you can see duck face. Duck face. When you open these doors. Ooh, there's a ladder. Let me just check to the right here real quick. Because I'd like to make sure I get everything that's worthwhile. Hello. Ooh, rude. Long boy. Gotcha, long boy. Stone. Explosive great bolts. Would be very helpful if I was using a bow. But I am not. But alas, <laughs> I am not. <laughs> if you use a bow in these games, let me see your gameplay. Because I'm very curious how to play it aggressively. I know that you can just chill and do your thing, right? But it's like... So much of this game is like, be aggressive, be aggressive, be aggressive. And being a bow player just seems like you have to sit back and wait for the fun to come to you, you know? And I, that's just not the way I like to play. I like to play hyper aggressively. <laughs> I think that's probably because, um, I think my first, I guess not my first, one of my like key Souls games that I played first was Bloodborne. And Bloodborne just teaches you aggression, 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 aggression. You know, it's like, that is the way to play the game. If you're not being aggressive, you're losing health. Um, so that's probably why, to be honest, that I play so aggressively in a lot of these games. Um, and also, like, I don't know, the less aggressively you play, the more you have to dodge. And dodging is the hardest mechanic in the game. I think you have 13 frames of invulnerability every time you roll, um, which is nothing. You know, you're talking about... Um, like a fifth of a second of invulnerability. And that's really tough. Um, okay, so first off, right, but be wary of strong foe, it said. Let's do it. I'm pretty sure that there's the magma worm down here, which is awesome. So, let's deal with them. You know what? I've already fought one of them. Let's bring him out. I've, I haven't brought him out at all. You guys deserve to see him. The Mimic tier. I got him to level 9. And he's so buffed now. So he's max level. Mimic tier. Come on out, Magma Worm. I know you're in here. I know you're in here. Come on. There he is. 
Look at the buy. Yeah, so we've already fought like two of these guys at this point in the playthrough. Um, I think you guys have seen one of them. So we'll bring out the uh, we'll bring out the old friend, the distraction tech, and you guys can actually see the mimic here in action. Ooh, he's a flamey boy. Yeah, this this arena is brutal just because there's so much lava. And uh, yeah, it burns. You might be surprised to learn lava burn, lava hurt. Oh man, that blood does a lot of damage. I need to heal before I get killed. Oh, I almost got killed. Double heal. Nope. He's gonna barf. He's barfing. He's barfing. Alright, let's just take him out. Cool. We totally didn't need him there. Mimic tier. You did great. Um, yeah. So that's the mimic tier for you. Uh, I think it's really good as far as summons go. Probably the best summon in the game, in my opinion. Here's my opinion. Uh, if you have a better summon that you think works more efficiently, let me know. I'm very curious because I don't know if there is one. Just, you know, just my opinion. But I feel like I'm also backed by like 90% of the community on that one. <laughs> Which is a rarity in Souls games to have such uniformity of like, yeah, this is the best. But who knows, man. Maybe someone just is like, meh. You've never lived until you've tried the, the you know, the lonely archer friend. <laughs> uh, Mimic here is definitely the best. Um, but yeah. Let me know if you disagree. <gasps> hey. Hey, girls. All right. We sneak it over here real quick. Grabbing some stuff. I love to gather free stuff. Look at him. Oh, I've fallen off the edge. Oh, don't take my Zomba Smithing Stones. <laughs> it's my Zomba Smithing Stone boxes. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, look at you go, baby. Look at you fly. It's impressive. Ooh, gotcha. 830. Not great, soul. Not the worst. But not great. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, can I open this first? Yes. All right, cool. Uh, that is... There's a friend in there. That's for sure. Just a casual lava bridge, dude. No big deal. No big deal. Casual lava bridge, bro. <laughs> we just got some lava on the lava bridge, bro. Oh. All of the, like, torture chests or the torture chambers underneath it. Brutal. And we up. Little Chris. A little bit of a crispy bridge. So I'm pretty sure up there is a very good item. Uh, right there, that one right there. Um, and in order to get up there, you kind of have to like jerry rig a jump, uh, which I won't do right now, but I will do later. Um, and I will show you what that is uh, if I get uh, any footage of it for sure. Um, ooh, yeah. Let's do this real quick. 62,000 62, souls. What's a level up for me? 74. Let's go ahead and use some runes. Ooh, Lord's Rune. Let's get a, let's use a Newman's because I'm pretty sure that's 12. Yeah, 12, 5. Uh, if you're a Souls player or an Elder Ring player, you probably know the fact that uh, since I have Newman's runes, um, that I'm in flipping around in the super down dark depths of the game and yeah that's true i've been doing it but uh i did it off camera because y'all didn't need to see me going all the way to a point that although it is really cool it doesn't have any purpose in my playthrough so yeah just went down there to explore and to get a couple of things uh mostly uh there's some upgrade materials but 
more just for fun, man. I just like doing it, and it's great XP down there. And this... Hey, Godskin. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Don't do it. Oh, he's a grump. Ooh, don't do it. And... Let's hit him with some blood. Ooh, he missed. He dodged. Ooh, look at that bleed, though. That was humongous. Yep, get ready for it. Now he is the Dark Lord. The Dark Flame. Ooh, he rolling. Man, I, I couldn't even see past him. So, ooh. Yeah, come on. Come after me if you want. Nice. Nope. Ooh. Ooh, his handy jammy stabs are so jammy. Alright, let's get behind this. Oh, we were behind. Heal. Double heal. Oh, his fat rolls. Nope. Oh, he slammed. Oh, he slammed. Alright, let's get out of this area because it's this is a death. <laughs> Even if we're taking it to him, that's a problem in that area. Ooh, he belly slams. Let's just stay full. Ooh, ooh, took more damage just healing there. Gotcha, Godskin Noble! Gotcha! Stitcher and Noble presence. Thank you, friend. What lies behind your altar, though? Serpent's Amnion. Key item. I'm very curious. Let me just check real quick. Um, key item. Sir, key item! That's all I can think. Amnion from a womb that bore unintended offspring. Gross. Also, check that out. Giant snake on top of the altar. I feel like it took me like three playthroughs of going through this area before I even noticed that there's a giant snake up there. <laughs> Goes to show you how observant we can be, man. But these games, come on, man. Like, they're, they're designed to be just massively stressful. That when you get to these areas, you're like, of course I didn't notice, dude. I was fighting the Godskin Noble. Let me fight the Godskin Noble in peace. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Yeah, these parts of this game are so pretty. I love just exploring these areas. Uh, that's where we've got to go. Down here. Yeah, and do all that. But I'm just going to go and make sure that there's nothing I need to get from this side. Um, I'm kind of powering through it, so I'm not doing it justice, really, to be honest. I'm just kind of, like, flying through it, and you're seeing the high-level overview of a lot of this stuff. But, um, I think it's this this area is one of my favorites in the game. Oh, I missed the item. Give me the item. I'm sure it's terrible. Yep, just some butterflies. Butterflies, ahoy. Hee <laughs> hee! Jumping over slug. Jumped over some slug. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, there is... Where is... There it is. I was going to say, there is a way down. Perfecto. Whee! And... Ooh. I never am too sure. I'm like, I don't want to just, like, randomly jump and kill myself on one of the, like, ledges. Because it's... It's a threat, dude. It is a real threat. Also, whatever those buildings are made out of, get me that contractor's name. Because, man, he is not paid enough. Ooh, hello, maiden. I don't really want any of your business. Keep your business to yourself, ma'am. Ooh. 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 Do I go there? Is that the direction? How much health do you have? Not that much. Some health. Okay. And... Okay. Oh, she's getting her little handy jams going. Nope. 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 You, you go that way. It'd be nice if she took fire damage, you know? Ooh, I got greedy. Oh, I got so greedy. Wow, she was feeling a little lazy. Not complaining about that. Okay, do I go there? That really seems like the way to go. But this lava seems very hot. <laughs> Not as hot as you'd expect it to be. You just have to slow roll across it. <laughs> Just gonna slowly walk around like we're really cool guys, not looking at explosions. Alright, cool. We made it. Give me your stuff. Come on, baby. 
Gotcha. Somber Smithing Stones 5. I don't understand why this game wants to just give you Somber Smithing Stones. Like, legit. It's like, you should be playing the Somber weapon. Like, who cares about the other weapons? <laughs> and I'm like, man, I want to play the regular weapon. I don't want to play the stupid boss weapons. It feels so stupid. <laughs> Not to be so eloquent in what I'm saying. Whoops. <laughs> I slash at your charcoal grill. Ooh, long boy. Oh, he's got, he's got the... He's got soul eyes. Come on. Yeah, that's 3,000 souls. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> I always forget which way to go when I get up here. Is it that way? It seems like it's that way. Is that shortcut? Here, let's just go over here and check shortcuts. Because that seems like the case. But shortcuts can be very clutch in this game to pick up. There's a lot of bloodstains in here, which I don't love. Oh, just from that boy? Forget? Or is this the boss? <laughs> Ooh. That was a secret layer. Secret layer of no return. Where is this? So much of this game looks so similar. <gasps> oh, that's a clutch shortcut. I need like 80,000 souls to level up. I don't think I should. 60,000 is a lot to be rolling around with. 75. Let's go ahead and use something real quick. Let's use something real quick. Just... Yeah, let's use a Lord's Room. 50k! I made a mistake. <laughs> I gave myself the exact same amount of souls, basically, that I'm going to have left over. Alright. Let's head back out there. And see what there is to see in this sweet, sweet lair. All right, so that was closed off before, so that's good to know. Now we've unlocked shortcut. So the shortcut is going to be clutch, for sure. Because we've got to defeat Praetor Rikard. Oh, even if he's not really Praetor Rikard, he's just a giant snake. Oh, the Sabbath. Oh, the voice acting in this game it just brings a smile to the face, you know? Uh, if you like creepy stuff, I guess. <laughs> I guess if you don't like that stuff, then probably isn't your bag of tricks, my dude. But I love this stuff. I actually don't like that many. I don't like, I don't know. Do you like horror movies? Because I am not like, the. I, I feel like a good horror movie I really enjoy. But a bad horror movie is just bad. Um, also, I guess that if you fight these guys enough, you can get them to drop that sword, which is awesome. It's supposed to be the rarest sword in the game. Um, like, I think it's like a 0.03% drop rate. Um, I've never gotten it, and I've played this game many times before. Um, and maybe I've gotten it unbeknownst to me, but I've never gotten it knowingly. So, yeah, if you've got that sword and you're running it, let me know about it, because you're the talk of the town, my dude. Everyone wants your sword. Ooh, they have so much goo. Nope. And nope. <laughs> Long boy. It's so fun to come to this area when you're like super high level. Because you can just go through mobs, dude. I'm so used to... I feel like I come to this... this um area usually much earlier in the game. Oh, I got a man serpent. <laughs> it's not a man serpent. Man serpent. <laughs> oh, Elden Ring, your jokes are not lost on me, friend. Um, but yeah, I usually come here so much earlier in the game. And hello. Are you just a giant egg? Eggman. Eggman. Oh, he's egg poke. <laughs> hmm. A staff, you say? can go up. Ooh. Ooh. You know me, man. I cannot resist a good stone sword key. Love a good stone sword key usage. I'll use it. I can't resist. What's behind door number three? <laughs> oh, man. What's down here? Oh, no. It's... It's... 
just problems. It's just problems. All right, well, I'll deal with that on my own time problems. Thanks, problems. Don't really want to go killing myself a million times. Yeah, all, I feel like those areas, when you get to those, sure, it's awesome when you get through them. But it's just like, oh, I can already feel the headache starting of just being like, well, can't wait to fall to my death a million times. <laughs> totally ready for that. Let's go somewhere else. Ooh. Are we where I think we are? Yep. So, let's do ourselves a favor and take this off. We could take them both off. Yes. And then let's get ready. Because in here. Yes. And then, before he notices, we take the sword. It'd be awesome if it just put the Serpent Hunter on. Serpent Hunter. Where are you, Serpent Hunter? Ooh, I'm gonna have to find it. I guess there's no rush, right? Because he's not aware of us. Yet. There it is. Serpent Hunter. Probably should have allocated some stuff over to the flups. And then let's put... Hmm. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put... A uh, one of the star thingies on this, just in case. And then I am going to pop a rune arc. And I'm not going to give myself aid on this one unless I need it. I don't remember this this thing's move sets. Yeah, but it's awesome. It's so cool! Oh, I missed! Oh, he chomping. He chomping me. Don't chomp. Don't chomp, friend. Yeah, I'm so glad we put the the stuff on our... Or the star, star stuff on us. Don't do it. Oh, we dodged that. I guess we didn't. Luckily, we've got tons of health. So we can definitely take a second one of those. Let's do this. And then... Hit him with some business and more business. Yeah, we that FP heal is gonna be this clutch. Oh, he got us again, man. He's in the, that animation loop, hilarious. And Takaru. All right, I'm tempted to heal again, but I don't want to heal because the second phase is much more intense. All right, now we'll heal. Now nah, we'll heal. Let's heal twice. Dodged. Snakey. Oh, snakey. Man, he is getting me so many times with the snakey chomps. Oh, but that star shard is crushing it for us. Thank you, star shard. Ooh, snakey. And snakey action. This fight is so cool. And the, this phase, cool. Not even. Oh man, I thought I timed it perfectly. Not even as good as the second phase. Second phase is so cool. Okay, we're over here now, huh? Hi, right, bud. Let me attack you, please. Oh, he got me. He killed me. <laughs> I'm talking all this trash like first phase. Push this, push this. No big deal. Well, whatever. We'll get him next time. Oh, he's got more scabbies than I expected. Oh. Ooh, what a cool animation. All right. I'm sick and tired of this boy. So we're going to break out the big guns. And by the big guns, I mean that. <laughs> we're doubling up our advantage. And he stands no chance against double boy two potheads are better than one i wonder if he's gonna use the powers pothead man bonus pot secondary pot nice nice i feel like this the range on this thing is all over the place and rotate around 
Stay out of that. Nice. Nice. Alright. Turn on the star shard. Yeah, buddy. Oh, wow. He is getting mad distracted. Appreciate that. Be distracted. Sweet. Wow. It is like night and day easy level when you have bonus dude coming with you. Woo, gotcha. Alright, hey, hey, get distracted for a second. Don't, don't worry about me. Oh, Okay. Uh, thanks, Mimic. <laughs> Phase one. Ugh. Ugh. Seriously? This is, I think, my favorite voice line in the game. It's so good. The arms, too. So basically, the serpent, the, the god devouring serpent, has just eaten all the tarnish that have come up to it so far. Including Praetor Rikard. Oh, very well. The sword is so gross. Oh. Look at all of the tarnished hands on him. Join myself and King as remedy. Together we will devour the very god. Such a great voice line. By far my favorite in the game. And it's just delivered in Volcano Manor. This place where you're like, alright, well, I guess that's something we can do. Nice. We'll take the chance. Man, using a summon is so easy in this game. I forgot about how easy it is. He just completely distracts him and does a ton of damage. To be fair, uh, I don't think I mentioned it, but my Mimic here is max level, which is insane for this boss. Um, and I'm just having fun with it. Ooh. And... Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna pop a Star Shard, just so I can keep on pumping out damage. Even though my Mimic here is just crushing the game. But this boy is just having a blast. Ooh. No thanks. And... Boop. And Shigu! There it is! <laughs> I only had to heal once with the Mimic. That's ridiculous. Rikard's Great Rune and Remembrance. What an awesome fight. So that's the only fight I'm going to be doing with any weapon besides the Twin Swords. But hey, uh, I've had a blast in this episode, and I hope that you guys have too. Uh, we've cleared Volcano Manor. I'll run through and gather up all the stuff that's non-essential. But for now, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And yeah, glory to the Tarnished Boys. I'll see you guys later. Peace! We're getting glorious. We're getting up to mischief. Don't wait, cause we're coming in hot Let's eat some biscuits, let's get glorious Glorious Mischief